Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williams with Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and in this video I'm going to take you through part 5 of writing your first WordPress plugin. Uh, this is a continuation of the series that I've been working on for a little while now um, and you can see it here we have part 1, 2, 3, and 4 um, and if you recall if you've been following the series in uh, the last part, part four, um, we ended up with this, which is a box at the bottom of your post that allows you to dis display a link to follow you on Twitter. Um, so what we're going to do with this next part, uh, everything so far has been pretty simple, and we're going to start getting into a little bit more advanced stuff. Um, the idea with this series is that it's going to cover a broad range of topics, um, all with one plugin. So what we're going to do in this one is we're actually going to add an admin page that will eventually allow us to give the user, the person using the plugin, the option to actually input their Twitter URL from the WordPress dashboard. So rather than hard coding your Twitter URL, we're going to have the option to actually enter it from the dashboard. So what I'm going to show you in this part is actually how to add the page and what we're going to do is we're going to add a link here to the settings menu uh, and it'll just be like my first plugin and that will be the settings page. So much like when you go over here to the general or the writing section, you have all of these options here that you can configure. Well, we're going to have one for our new plugin, and it's going to allow us to con configure our Twitter URL as well as a couple of other options. So, in this part, I'm going to show you how to add the page, and then in the next part, I'm going to show you how to actually save the data and add options to the page. So, let's get started. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up our first WordPress plugin. Um, as you recall, here it is. And we are going to create a new file um, and this file is going to be saved and it's going to be called uh, we can just call it admin page dot PHP or you could do plugin settings or plugin options whatever you want something something along those lines that uh, indicate that this is the administration page now we are going to write a function and this function is going to be the one that is actually going to output um, our HTML content on the options page. So in this case I've just called it uh, my first WordPress plugin or MFWP which is my prefix underscore options page and now what I'm going to do is start our output buffer just like this. Uh, I believe I actually if we open up our display functions uh, no actually I guess I didn't. Okay so let me I thought I'd explain the output buffer. Let me go ahead and explain this to you really quick. The output buffer is something that will allow us to um, write out our HTML as regular HTML. Uh, if you recall in our display functions we put all of our HTML here into a string, into a variable called extra content. Um, well that works fine when you are displaying one little piece of HTML but when you have a whole bunch of HTML that you want to display, in this case it's going to be a form, inputs, text, headings, etc there's a much easier way to do it and that's using what's called the output buffer so this stands for output buffer underscore start and that's basically starting the output buffer and now we can simply write out our HTML like normal like this uh, so here all I'm doing is just writing out the HTML that's going to be on my page my first WordPress plugin options so that's going to be the page title um, anytime you create an admin page you should always wrap it in a div with a class of wrap that's because this is one of the core WordPress uh, classes that it uses uh, so it gives much better uh, results if you do that this is our settings page content just like that and now we're going to close the div And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our PHP tag again and we're going to echo ob underscore git clean. That basically says take everything that is after the output buffer and echo it. Uh, so that's very similar to how we are returning uh, the content over here except that we're doing it, we're storing everything in the output buffer and then returning that. Okay, so that's the start of our admin page. Now what we need to do is go back over here to our main plugin file and go ahead and include our admin page. So we just go this admin page.php. And now we will um, the plugin options page HTML. Okay, uh, HTML and 
save functions. This file admin page is going to contain everything that we need for this admin page. So the next thing that we need to do is use something called the um, add options page function. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to write another function called um, my first WordPress plugin underscore add options link like that. And this is the function that's actually going to register our menu link. Remember that what we're trying to do is add a link right here. Uh, so to do that, we simply use this function, add options page. The add options page is one that actually allows it. Uh, there are similar several functions like this. There's called there's add menu page, there's add submenu page, and there's odd add options page as well as a couple others. But the add options page is the function that we're going to use to actually add a link to this menu. So we do add options page. The first thing that we have is going to be the page title. Um, the page title, which is going so that would be displayed up in your uh, your browser window or tab. Uh, so in that case, it's going to be my first WordPress plugin options. The next parameter is the name of the menu item. So let's just call it uh, my first plugin. Uh, this needs to be a lot shorter because we don't have that much space in this menu right here. The next parameter is the capability. That means uh, who can actually access this page or who can view it. So we're going to set this to manage options. And what that means is that only users who have the manage options capability are able to access this. Uh, if you're not familiar with capabilities, don't worry about it too much. This basically just means only users who are administrators will be able to access this page. Um, the next parameter is going to be the slug of the page, and that is what's going to show up. That's going to be part of the URL of the actual page. So in this case, we're going to call it my first WordPress plugin dash options. So MFWP options. And then the last parameter is actually going to be the name of the function that's going to output all of the contents. So in this case, it's uh, this function we wrote up here. So it goes just like that. Okay, and that function is now complete. And the only thing we need to do now is we need to actually connect this function to a hook. A hook being uh, what's going to allow us to actually activate this function. By itself like this, it's not going to actually do anything. So what we do is type in add action admin menu. This is the hook that we want to use when we are working with the admin menu. And now it's the name of this function, just like that. Okay, so now if we go over here to our dashboard, so when we didn't do anything wrong, we refresh, and sure enough, we see my first plugin right there. And here's the title of it, and this is our settings content. So if you remember, my first WordPress plugin, and this is our settings content. And that's it. Uh, so that's how we're going to go about actually adding the settings page. Um, and that just about wraps it up for this part of the series. In the next part, what I'm going to do is actually go in and add this, the option form. Uh, and what I mean by that is I'm going to go in and add like a text input like this that will allow you to enter your Twitter URL. And I'll walk you through how we actually save that data. Um, it's going to be, it's a little, it gets a little bit more complex, but it's not too difficult. Uh, so that's going to be in the next part, so I hope you stick around. Thanks for watching.